Good afternoon, William Floyd Leonard Center families. We have missed you all greatly and are looking forward to the start of the 2021 school year. While the start to the year will look vastly different from the years past, we can assure you that teaching your children both in person and remotely will be a privilege and honor as we work together to do what is best for all our learners. Our goal here today is to give you information about our building specific entry plan and to answer any questions that were submitted to us. The district entry plan was shared with the community last week and we are going to address details specific to our building today. This plan will remain flexible and will be adjusting certain areas on a daily basis to ensure optimum results. As we are sure you can understand and appreciate, there are countless components to safely reopening our school building while adhering to the guidelines provided to us by the state. We ask for patience, grace, and flexibility as we work together. We can assure you that all encompassing health, safety, and well-being for our entire school community is our top priority. We are focused on our students and staff's safety, social and emotional health, and academic growth at all times throughout the day, both in person and remotely. Learning Center students will be attending school five days a week for in-person instruction, unless the family has opted their child to receive remote learning. In order to comply with regulations while students are in their classroom, they'll be sitting at a desk six feet away from their peers. All of the desks in the classroom will be facing the same direction, which will be faced towards the focal point for instruction. Students will be keeping their desk belongings, such as notebooks, folders, and writing utensils in their own personal bin. Coats and backpacks will be stored based on teacher discretion and classroom configuration. We will no longer have carpets in any of our classrooms. All students' IEPs goals will be addressed and mandated services will be provided as prescribed. Related services such as OT, PT, and speech will be scheduled both in person and virtual. We will attempt to schedule those services for students while they are in school to the extent possible. Although, this may not be entirely possible based on scheduling conflicts and the number of services a child is prescribed. For students who are remote only, services will be scheduled virtually. Attendance will remain as is for our in-person learners. Attendance for remote learning will take place during the hour of virtual instruction. These hours will be after this regular school day and will be agreed upon by the teacher and parent. We would like to reassure parents that we are limiting the use of shared supplies in the art room, music room, and gymnasium. These areas will be cleaned prior to the entry of different groups of students. Each classroom will follow a staggered designated route for specials to avoid clustering in the hallways. Since PE and music will require 12 feet of social distancing for aerobic activities, singing activities, they may be outside, weather permitting, or in other large available spaces. These departments are also making curriculum changes to accommodate safety protocols when they cannot meet those 12 feet requirements. Breakfast will be delivered to the classroom to eliminate gathering and lines in the cafeteria. Unfortunately, students will no longer be permitted to enter the building early as there will not be staff available to monitor social distancing. We will only be serving breakfast in the classrooms. For lunch, since students will not be wearing masks while eating, and still being mindful of food allergies, we will be eating in our classrooms. Students can bring their own lunch from home or school lunch will be provided to them. Students should bring a snack for themselves and a bottle of water each day. During recess, students will be permitted to use the playground and will be following a rotating schedule so that one class is on it at a time. Indoor recess activities will be socially distanced and take place in the classroom. In order to maintain the health and safety of our students and staff, the following protocols are being put in place. Students and staff are expected to wear their masks even when socially distanced. However, teachers will schedule realistic mask breaks and consider the frequency and duration in the context of developmental appropriateness. Students must wear a mask when riding the school bus, walking through the hallways of the school, transitioning to and from specials and in their classrooms. Teachers will also be working with students to help identify when they would need a mask break throughout the day as well. No parents or visitors are permitted in the building. Please make sure you complete the daily health survey on the parent portal every morning before your child comes to school. 
If your child is not screened prior to coming to school, the nurse will have to screen them at school. Each classroom has a hand sanitizer pump as well as disinfectant and sanitizer for teacher use as needed. Students will have access to wash their hands as needed. We are no longer permitting celebratory foods for birthdays or holidays in the building. Please do not send in cupcakes and or treats to celebrate your child's birthday as we are no longer sharing food items at this time. Students will not have access to the water fountain in the building. We encourage children to bring their own reusable water bottles from home. Our nurse's office will have an isolation area for students exhibiting symptoms of COVID to be kept away from the rest of the school community. If a child is exhibiting symptoms of COVID, the nurse will call you to immediately pick your child up from the school. If the school nurse suspects COVID, you must provide a doctor's note and evidence of a negative COVID test in order for your child to return to school. Our custodial staff will be highly diligent in regard to their cleaning both throughout the building and during the school day and after school hours. Classrooms will be deep cleaned Wednesday nights while in the building. Our students can expect to see our custodians throughout the course of the day in the hallways as well as in their classrooms, disinfecting doorknobs and frequently touch surfaces in an effort to maintain and safe, a safe and clean environment. There have been new accountability and tracking procedures put into place to ensure that all areas in the building are cleaned and sanitized on a regular and consistent basis. We recognize the increased importance of our custodial staff's contributions to our school community, and they are ready to take that role on, and they have been given the resources to complete the job effectively and to keep our school community as safe as possible. In an effort to socially distance our students, traffic patterns will be established in our hallways that limit the possibility of students crossing paths. In many cases, services and resources typically provided outside of the classroom will be delivered to classroom to the limit to limit the amount of times that students have to leave their classroom space. Students will maintain social distancing when navigating our hallways and masks will be worn. Each classroom at the Learning Center has their own bathroom. The bathrooms will be monitored and cleaned on a daily basis. The William Floyd Learning Center's arrival and dismissal procedures will be as follows. All students taking the bus will enter the building through the primary pod entrance. We will unload buses one at a time to alleviate the traffic entering the building. From 9.15 to 9.30, parent drop-off will take place at the small traffic loop in the parking lot located next to the playground. Vehicles should line up along the curb in a single line. The first car should pull all the way up to the orange cone. All cars should remain in line and wait until the cars in front of them pull out. Please do not pull around vehicles that are still in line for any reason. Students will exit their car from the right, positioning themselves safely on the side of the curb. Staff members will be pr present to support an efficient drop-off process. Students will open their car door, exit the vehicle, and close the door. All students will walk along the sidewalk and proceed to enter the primary pod entrance. If a student arrives after 9.30, parents should pull up in the small traffic loop by the playground and park by the orange cone. Upon parking, parents should call the main office and a staff member will come out and get the student. Please do not drop your child off without calling the main office. At no point is the main bus loop to be used by cars for safety reasons. During dismissal, buses will be loaded one at a time to alleviate the traffic exiting the building. Once a bus is loaded, it will depart the learning center. Parent pickup will take place in the same location as student arrival. Vehicles should line up along the curb in a single line. The first car should pull all the way up to the orange cone. Staff members will be present to support an efficient pickup. Staff members will escort students out of the primary pod and into their vehicles. Again, all cars should remain in line and wait until the cars in front of them pull out. If parents are picking students up early for any reason, they should park in a small traffic loop and call the main office. A staff member will bring the child out to the vehicle. Some important information to mention before we go. The William Floyd School District will be changing its first day of school to September 8, 2020. Our Meet the Teacher Night will now be held virtually. In order to complete the daily health survey, please set up your account in the Parent Portal. The Parent Portal will open on August 24th. A mailing will be sent home shortly thereafter, which will include important information about your child's schedule and school procedures. 
Please work with your child to prepare them for attending school. Show them what six feet apart looks like and work with them in wearing appropriate face coverings. We look forward to welcoming our students back to school. We will try our best to give them the most typical school day possible while also adhering to all safety protocols. If you still have any questions or concerns, please contact Mrs. Person or me via Class Dojo, phone, or the Learning Center's Corona email. Be well and enjoy the rest of your summer.